Hey, this is Mr. Whale Money, and I'm going to talk to you about data tracking today. So you'll notice due today is 1.4x data tracking. Less than help for this. This like bookmark shape will, um, will have been posted. Um, that'll have the slides that we're looking at. And we can come back here and you'll see the relevance of these other posts. The do now is write down three ways to represent or communicate data. You need to write what you think of um, for representing or communicating data. And the hook. For the hook, I'll just keep it really brief right now, but we had a discussion about data. Uh, where does that come into the scientific method process? You've got a question, you're... Um, or an observation. So for example, make, make a prediction about how tall you can make a tower from one sheet of paper. Research topic area, you might research that, or in your case, you talk about it as a team, and then you make a hypothesis. Well, we think we can make it this tall. Then you're gonna test with experiment. I prefer to say we're gonna collect data on it. So in this case, you'll build the, you would have built the tower, and then you measure it. Next, you're ready for it to analyze the data. Okay, you measured it. Was it taller or shorter than what your hypothesis was, your prediction? Um, and then you can report your conclusions. That's scientific method. This is also in something like a COVID test. Do I have COVID? Research topic area. Oh, I go to the CVS. Um, they have a PCR test. And I, I'm going to hypothesize, I think I have it then I can test it. I do the PCR test, I get the results, and when I receive the results, I can analyze that. Oh, the results are this, that means I do have COVID or I may not. And so you tell people about that. Of course, there's lots of other examples we could use. We could talk about business. The question is, how much money can I make selling stickers? Um, research topic area, okay, well I could make stickers on this website and it costs this much to buy t a set of 20 um, so I'm gonna spend that much money I'm gonna hypothesize that I can make at least this much back from that if I sell them at this price and then you try try that and see did anybody buy them how many people bought them which stickers were most popular etc and we can analyze that data um, asking those questions and then report our conclusions. Okay, and then we can say, you know what, I'm gonna make some adjustments here and go back through the scientific method process. Once you spend class time retaking the quizzes, the safety quiz and the uh, team roles quiz, you're gonna make a, your own copy of your team's tower hypothesis and data, and you're gonna organize that into a Google Doc of your own. So let me back up make your own copy so a lot of people will try to submit from the shared drive that's impossible and that's why we have the shared drive so one teammate can't accidentally remove all the data from everybody else so you have to make your own copy of that and then your rest of your team can still use it to make their own copies and then you're going to insert the hypothesis and data into a doc turn it in under 1.4 teamwork tower when you're done with that, you're going to look at your own personal data. For those other success criteria, criterion, you will have qualitative data in like a picture of your tower, and you'll have quantitative, like a picture or a you'll type in the measurement that you use with a ruler. How many centimeters tall was the tower? Here's our full checklist here, retake quizzes. You're gonna make this checklist in your notebook um, or your Google Doc, and you're gonna check them off only as you do them. Retake quizzes, team roles quiz, safety quiz. Once again, team roles quiz was out of 10 points, so if you've got nine out of 10, that's 90. Um, you can retake it. Um, safety quiz, if you got less than 140 out of 180 points that means you you have a zero in skyward because you have to make at least a 78 percent on that so that turns out being 140 out of 180 
So just keep taking it until you do that. If you have troubles with that, ask me. Um, then, as I already went over these other points on the checklist, but when you get down, when you get that done, um, you get down to this last one: update and turn in 1.4x data tracker according to Skyward quizzes only. So that means you don't have to look at all of your data, how you're doing in my class, but you're gonna you're gonna have your own copy of this on Google Classroom. So I just click this to show you. If I could click to uh, one of my classes and look under data 1.4x data tracking and each student has one of these Google Docs. If I've turned it in, you won't be able to see the top probably on your device, but you need to identify that it's you and not me. So on your copy, you're going to change where it says date. You're going to change that to say your name. Put your first and last name there. So I would do Max Whaley. Reason for putting date there is because you're putting it based, I always have a code with what day it was. Um, and it may have been either a Monday or Tuesday for um, this one, Wednesday or Thursday for this quiz. So you're going to go look up how'd you do on the team roles quiz. And so imagine this student got an 8 out of 10. So they would make an orange right here on the row that says 80. And then on the safety quiz, they got 140 out of 180. That's 78%. So that would go on the 75% row. So they'd make that cell orange. And I've said for today, you don't have to do put this one. So we'll do this one later. So right now you turn these two in and in future um, we'll turn in um, make sure these other ones will check how do we do on these two assignments so today you're kind of getting ready making sure these two are ready to be graded by me uh, but you haven't had them graded yet so we're just doing the two quiz grades in this tracker for now when you finish that coloring of those cells and I can help you with that you'll see on my screen there's an A for text color. On your mobile device, there'll be an A with a pancake underneath it. So that's sort of like when I push my triple dots here and you'll look for, uh, that says background color. I need to check, select a cell. So when I put my cursor inside the cell like that, then this is gonna say, and then I can give it a different color. So if it's on this row, I'd make it blue any blue you like. The point is to communicate. You know how well you did. If you got a hundred, a 180 out of 180, then you would have made this blue like that. You don't even have to put the number in there if you don't want to. Okay, that's how you fill those cells and indicate that you are tracking how you did on those quizzes. And then down here, you're gonna answer questions in the blue. So what attendance goal will you set for yourself this week and how will you accomplish it? So that you're going to write your answer in there. And then end of week attendance goal check-in. Did you accomplish your attendance goal for this week? This time I'd like for you to do it for last week. So what I assume your goal may have been to be attend all your classes last week. So you can click here yes if you did. And then um, your and then your academic goal. Well, you're, it's going to ask you to discuss what you attribute your success to, and then you're going to uh, record your weekly academic goal. What was, what was your academic goal last week, and did you accomplish it? What do you attribute to your success? So that's how you finish that data tracker, and that's the last thing on this checklist. That's essentially your exit ticket for today. Um, make it whale money.